Hey guys, Mr. Jams here. Today, we're gonna go over a great question. What is RGX? Opera GX released RGX in December of 2022, and a lot of people have slept on talking about it. RGX is a groundbreaking graphical enhancement feature built into the Opera GX browser itself. It functions in a way similar to NVIDIA's ray tracing, where it sharpens images or video, but for a fraction of the tax on your machine. This technology usually needs GPU acceleration, which increases your GPU usage, but since the feature is built into the browser, you won't require any additional power to make use of it. RGX functions as a filter, similar to the shaders that have been released with the Opera GX mods, and it works on any website you choose to use. People with visual impairments or slower Wi-Fi connections will really reap the benefits of this feature here. Let's jump into some more examples of how effective RGX is at sharpening images and colors. Look here at the crowd and the stage to really see the difference in image sharpening and color changes. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's, an indie horror game that you guys suggested en masse and I saw- Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's, an indie horror game that you guys suggested en masse and I- Hold out just a little longer, just a little longer. Just a little longer. Just a little longer. Ah! Turn, 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 turn it. Turn it to six. Turn to six. Don't rip my guts out. It can be pretty hard to see the difference when it's moving. So here's the images slowed down. Amnesia, the Dark Descent, we're back, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Amnesia, the Dark Descent, we're back, baby. Here's another example so you can really see the difference that RGX makes. I have pretty good PC specs, so next I wanna go ahead and see what kind of impact RGX has on my machine. When testing just the homepage, there's very little CPU or RAM usage. When I first open a YouTube video with RGX on, the RAM and CPU both raised. The RAM was around 1.77 and the CPU was around 11%. Once I turned RGX off, it seemed to settle at 1.6 gigs of RAM usage and around 5% average CPU usage. Interestingly, after I turned RGX on again, the usage seemed to have stabilized, and the average CPU usage leaned towards 4% instead of 5%. So what does all of this mean for the future of Opera GX's gamer browser? Well, if we look at the situation from a business perspective, stonks. This technology could have a huge impact on the future of the ray tracing and graphic enhancement industry. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about RGX. Be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell if you want to see more. Until next time guys, peace.